Hi, I'm Rick Sellens. I'm going to show you how to write an analog value out to pin A0, the one analog output port that provides true digital to analog conversion on the Itsy Bitsy M0. And then read that same value back in through a wire that's connected to pin A3, the analog input port. To start off with, we need something that we'll be able to uh, write out. A sinusoidal function of time would make sense and we're going to scale it so that it runs roughly between uh, 0 and, and 1000 because the 10-bit output resolution of the digital to analog converter runs from 0 up to 1023. So we'll write the value that we're calculating out and we'll also write the value that we've read back in from the uh, port A3. We're getting something, but I'm not sure it makes sense because we forgot to write it out to the analog output port. It's kind of weird that we're getting something sinusoidal, but that just goes to show you it's difficult to predict what's going to happen with the noise in the circuitry if we don't actually control the values that we're trying to use. So let's look what we get when we actually write out a 10-bit analog value and then read that analog voltage back in as a 10-bit analog to digital conversion. Sure enough, the red and the blue values sit more or less right on top of each other. The range from 0 to 1023 in both cases representing the voltage range from 0 to 3.3 volts. We can change the resolution on the analog to digital conversion up to 12 bits or even up to 16 bits, in which case we'll have scales of 0 to 4095 or 0 to 65535. In both cases, those ranges of integers still represent the real range of analog voltages going from 0 up to 3.3 volts. I'll leave it as an exercise for you to figure out how to convert back and forth between those integer values and the actual analog voltages that they represent.